guys so i finished my peloton workout i'm gonna stop my watch and i'm gonna take a quick shower to get refreshed for the day i just took a shower and i oh the camera's shaking and i co-washed my hair with the healthy sexy hair conditioner and um honestly honestly i didn't notice any breakage or any like shed in so i don't know i really don't know what to think because um a couple things i did take some of you guys' advice and thank y'all so much y'all get you guys give me such great advice nothing abnormal like the last time i shampooed my hair so this makes me that makes me really happy so thank you guys so much let me go get dressed y'all for earrings today i'm gonna wear my dior hoops these ones I just really like um it's kind of the vibe i'm going for i'm just wearing this skims tank top it's kind of like a little cropped and then i'm wearing uh, i'm wearing some sweats from pretty little thing today we're gonna wear a vanilla i'm gonna add a little i'm gonna add a little bit of this one i'm gonna add a little bit of this and then i'm gonna use my then i'm gonna use my fenty butter to moisturize my skin all right so i just got a package in the mail this is from skims i figured i would do a quick little unboxing and show you guys what i got in here um so i ordered from their new collection and i'm really excited to try one of the pieces so yeah this is the box and i am planning i am planning to do a try on haul with all of these pieces that i have recently ordered so you guys will see that soon hopefully and why did this come in a box? What did I get? Oh, the bodysuit comes in a box. I did not know that. So the bodysuit comes in the back, a box, the t-shirt bodysuit. So I got that in a large XL. This is the um, t-shirt. Uh, fits every but No. It's the t-shirt bodysuit in smoky quartz. And I've never ordered a t-shirt bodysuit from them. I really love their t-shirts. But I figured I would order the bodysuit because I love the way the bodysuit just really holds you in and just it really um, contours your body really well. So I got this in X large XL and the back is a thong bag, which is great, which is good because whenever you're wearing like pants, you won't have any panty lines. Then I ordered from uh, ordered a bandeau. So the bandeau, they have not had my size in forever so i decided to order a small and hope that it stretches out to fit me so this is the small and i'm hoping it fits i feel like it probably will be a little tight but it might fit i don't know maybe i should try it on right now so i have it on but it's really tight so i think a large medium i think definitely need to get like a medium or large in this maybe i'll give it to my mom because i actually know she was looking for a strapless bra so maybe she'll like this because she's definitely um a size small and she would be a size small in this so maybe i'll give it to her um and then for the last thing i ordered is from their new outdoor collection and i ordered the bodysuit i definitely wanted to order this and this is what it looks like so i ordered this in a large um the bodysuit you guys i think it fits really well i do have my little i do have a little fupa but i think it fits really really nicely i think the bodysuit fits really well the material is definitely different than the other skims pieces that i have it's more um like regular clothes everything else has a different like very 
buttery soft material this is more like cotton like it feels like regular clothes if that makes sense but i still like it it still has a nice contour to it um i think it's i think it's really nice All right, so I'm waiting for my um, burger to cook. I think the air fryer said 10 minutes left last time I checked, so I'm just gonna wait. I'm actually really hungry because I did not eat at all, and I worked out a little bit, so I'm starving. So yeah, let's just wait. <laughs> Hey y'all, so I'm just getting ready doing my hair so I can film. It's 5.43, so I've been just like doing a whole lot of nothing for the past few hours. I honestly can't tell you what I was doing because I really was doing absolutely nothing. Not even on Instagram, like just nothing. Just like maybe daydreaming, I don't know. So anyways, I put on this U part wig and I'm gonna just comb my hair over it. Um, honestly, I've been wearing this, this wig a whole bunch and I think I might take this I think I might take it with me on vacation although it's not really ideal for a vacation I feel like maybe for like a date night out or something I could wear it um, basically my plan right now is to get a relaxer for my vacation because I I am gonna get a sew-in but I'm not sure when I'm gonna get the sew-in done I'm actually going to be working with a brand that's going to require me to get a sew-in, but I'm not sure of the time frame, and since I'm traveling and I wanted to do my hair, um, yeah, so anyways, I'm just straightening out my hair to blend in with the, um, the rest of this hair, and then I'm just going to quickly do the other side. I usually do middle parts with this wig. I mean, I could do a, like a semi side side part depending on how I clip it in but I feel like middle parts are just easier to do with this so that's what I've been doing I've decided that my hair breakage what is a it's not just one thing it's I think it's a bunch of things together making it happen so I do think it's partially the brush I also think it's partially me getting my hair braided because I had gotten it braided that time and I also had gotten um, what did I do before that I also think that um, I don't always tie my hair up at night and I think that's part of it because it just obviously that's not good for my hair type especially because I have super thin hair so that's part of it and I also think I haven't been moisturizing my hair as I should be so I've been kind of slacking on the moisturization part of my hair so those are the three things that I have thought of so far including I feel like I was not using the right shampoo conditioner i think the, i think i have i think the one i use today is really good because it's really really moisturizing but i think i was using ones that yeah i just feel like that one my hair likes um i actually need to get some more because the bottle is almost empty so it's only like the mess in the back i don't know what that is just mess <laughs> just mess all right so i'm gonna um just fix my edges a little bit and then I am going to film this video so 
I'm gonna transform myself into an IG model using um, Kevin Luong's makeup tips, basically from watching his makeup class, um, his makeup masterclass. I base I watched, I paid for his masterclass, so I'm basically gonna recreate one of his looks. Yeah, not the I'm not gonna recreate the whole look, mainly just like the base, so like the foundation and like face products. The eye look, um, not gonna, I'm not gonna recreate the eye look. I actually wanna watch another one of his videos on a different eye look because the one I picked, I picked it because the model was my complexion. So I wanted to see something with like a complexion video with someone my complexion first. And then I'll probably get a different one where he does a look, an eye look that I wanna learn his process on. If that makes sense because he did like a cut crease look on this model and I'm not really like that's not really something I would do um, on myself like I'm not really into like like cut crease eye looks you know anyways that's pretty much it <laughs> I'm going to just put this away this was my edge control by the way I actually need to get a smaller jar to put this in so I can travel with it because I really love this or I could maybe check to see if they have travel sizes at the beauty supply store so that is pretty much it all right y'all so I have everything here in front of me just tuck this in right here all right y'all so I have everything in front of me I'm gonna go ahead and get filming and I'll talk to y'all so I just finished filming. I filmed my Kevin Luong, Luong inspired makeup, which I think came out beautiful. I love his technique. I think it's perfect for like full glam. It just looks amazing. So I finished that video. I was gonna film another video, but it's actually 7.30 right now. And I feel like I won't have time to film and do everything peacefully because my kids bedtime is at 8. 30 ish so I need to get ready for that so that's what I'm gonna be doing so I'm gonna get ready to get them ready for bed if that makes sense <laughs> get ready to get them ready um yeah but I really love the way this look turned out you guys you probably already see before before you see this uh day in the life vlog and if you haven't seen it yet I have a link down below so you can check it out yeah I'm gonna look in the fridge and see if there's anything that tickles my appetite <laughs> Yeah, I need to do that. I need to do my nail is bothering me. Look, all my nails are bothering me. All of them. Like they all look atrocious. But this one right here. That's how I feel. <laughs> Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm gonna try one of these. Pretty good. It's really good, y'all. I'm currently transferring the files that I filmed into my hard drive that way I can start like organizing and the editing process this is my external hard drive here you guys you need this if you're gonna be doing like YouTube it's just video files are huge they take up a ton of space so you do not want to put those on your computer you definitely need like something that you can store them on instead of storing them on your laptop because over time your computer will get really 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 slow if you continue to put files on there so yeah i edited in the video a little bit um i only did like five minutes of it though so yeah it's like nine o'clock right now so i'm gonna make some cookies for johnny and i i got some of the sweet lawrence cookies i'll show you guys sweet lauren sweet lauren i think it is but i'm gonna make some for johnny and i just these they're just vegan cookies not really like low cal or anything but you taste really good. <laughs> I have a baking sheet here, and these are the cookies. Once again, Sweet Lawrence, and they're just gluten-free, dairy-free, plant-based 
vegan cookies basically so I like them because um, I'm trying to not have as much dairy in my diet y'all like I'm trying to reduce the dairy so regular calories cookie wise um, preheat the oven to what is this brown stuff is this ice cream what the heck is this the 14 minutes just so it could be a nice consistency and I'm gonna bake these um, there should be six in here so just for Johnny I'm gonna bake all six of these for Johnny and myself Wait, I thought there was... I definitely only made six yesterday, so why are there... Oh, they literally gave us... Wait a minute. I literally baked six yesterday, so why is there only five in here? <gasps> they didn't really give us one last. Johnny, did you eat cookie dough? One. Oh, you ate cookie dough. Oh, okay. Hey, one, yeah. I'm like, why are there five cookies in here? <laughs> These are mm. look perfect. So we can let them cool down, and then we're probably gonna have one of these bubblies with the cookies. It's just sparkling water, and yeah, I'm gonna watch something, and then I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.